What is up everyone? Welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. In the last episode we took on Ultima, but we didn't end Ultima. And now Ultima is in this thing, whatever it is. Looks like a crystal cocoon or something. Whatever it is. Anyway, we're back here in the hideaway. We gotta go speak to Otto. Yeah, we're not done yet. We're getting close to the end though, we're 96%. There's something about it. So we're very close. I'm not doing any more hunts or side quests at this point. Not until after the final boss is defeated. Once the final boss is defeated, then I'll go back. I'll load my save file up and I'll go back and I'll fight the hunts and the side quest and I'll do the side quest. But right now we're pushing the main storyline. And we're beating this damn thing. So let's talk to Otto here. Still alive, I see. Something tells me that I saw on the horizon is your doing. How'd you manage that? It's a long story. One that I'd rather only tell once. Right. All hands on deck then. As I'm sure you've all guessed, the crystal which now commands the eastern skies was summoned by Ultima. He called it Origin. Though the significance of that name is as yet unclear. What does it matter what it's called? Its emergence tore Twinside asunder and wiped my homeland from the map. Mention of the Dominion Spires can be found in the oldest of Valisthian records. But to the best of my knowledge, none provide any hint as to their true nature. That they would prove the horns of some slumbering demon. Well, the Dominion's demise was at least quick. Elsewhere, the Republican army cannot hope to contain the chaos engulfing Randalar. Canva is in flames, and the Empire... Our allies are crying out for answers. I've sent the curse breakers to give them what assurances we can, but right now that amounts to fuck all. They wouldn't be able to stop what the skies have started in any case. People here and across the realm grow sicker with every passing day. Could it be that this new mother crystal is like the others? That it draws upon the land's ether? certainly looked that way from stone here if that were true it would explain the hastening spread of the blight since the crystal's appearance would it not and as the land's ether slowly rises to the surface it pulls corrupting all who cannot channel its energies rk above Ether floods below, and in the middle, here we languish, hopelessly entrapped. <laughs> it's all right. When we faced him at stone here, Ultima told us his true power quickens in the halls of origin. Needless to say, we cannot allow that to continue. If we are to stop him, we will have to find a way into the crystal. How are we going to manage that then? It's up in the sky. And fast as she is, the Enterprise can't fly. <laughs> it's a lot to take in, and I reckon we'd all benefit from some time to clear our heads. The answer will come to us. Don't you worry. Ain't that right, Clive? Right. 
That's right. Well, go on then. Bugger off. Same goes for you, Clive. You won't solve anything like this. Trust me. Go and get some fresh air, right? Thank you. All right. Joshua seemed upset. Turn it down some, jeez. All right. So we have to go speak to Joshua. Back to their origin. <clears throat> well, I gotta I got to turn up the volume again since we talked to him. But whatever. Ultima may have created us, but he doesn't make us who we are. Only we can do that. And if he would have us fight for our survival, so be it. It's what we've been doing all along. Much like Ultima himself, it would seem. His new world being naught but a means to survive. And so, we must contend to decide which of us shall inherit the land. Should Ultima prevail, it will mean death for us all. Of that, we can be certain. But even should he fail, what world awaits us? A withered, godless place where our newfound freedom will most like prove a chain in itself. Well, there may be, but a chain can always be broken. As long as one has the will to break it, it won't be easy. It may take generations, centuries of suffering. And that is if everyone plays their part. But it will happen. And when it does, it will be on our terms. That is the world that awaits us. <laughs> Indeed. And what better world could one wish for? But first, we have to reach that crystal. Then it's a good thing I have wings. You can barely stand, let alone fly. And only the Founder knows what horrors await in those skies. Are you certain about this? Am I certain? I am the Phoenix. I will do what I must. This is our fight. Remember? All right. I yield. But only what you must, yes? I'm still your sworn shield. That you are. And what of my wings? Lest you forget, you go to stand against a god. I would not have you succumb to fatigue before the fight begins. Ifrit. Your brother mentioned that some few of the Dominants who had lost their power to you were still able to prime. Is that true? It is. But their icons no longer submitted to their will. Ah. Then mine will have to be stronger. That you both might save your strength for the battle to come. You don't have to do this. If you do, there's a chance you might lose all you have left. And what have I but regret? My life ended in the Dominion. I fear death no more. Besides, I would have words with Ultima. 
He has much to answer for. We are in your debt, Dion. We can speak of debts when this is over. He speaks like a man who knows he's not coming back. And has come to terms with that. That doesn't mean that we have to, does it, Kaif? Time to talk to Jill. I only hope she understands. All right, so it looks like we're going to get to up there, over there, with uh, Bahamut. Take as much time as you need, brother. Something tells me Ultima will wait. you damn right he's gonna wait. He's gonna wait till I'm ready to whoop his fucking ass. Whenever I'm ready to whoop his fucking ass, I'm gonna go whoop his fucking ass. You know what I fucking mean, man? So, what it be? Defender plus one. How strong is that ultimate weapon? 375? Okay, it's way stronger. Or Chalcum Dark Steel and Primitive Battle Horn, okay. No scratches, right? I guess I'm beating the final boss with. I need clutch mine for that one. I can buy some clutch mine, I guess. Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. Yeah, that one dude's in the back now. I can't even talk to him anymore. I need to sell some uh, the coins. Oh wow, black blood could just be traded for gold. I didn't even know that. I thought it was for um, crafting. I reckon I can find a buyer. You got out else? I'll be thankful you got that much. Empty shards can be traded for gill too. Can I can find a buyer. Ambers can be traded for gill. You got out else? Hold on to that item, I guess. The item that says use for crafting, obviously. Come again. We're not oh, gonna don't. sell. Clive. If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. We'll buy a bunch of these. It'd better all be a. Uh, is that all? Probably won't need 200 of them, but fuck it. Thinking of a butt joke, but fuck it. What's that in for, Good It'd last you a good while. Okay, we can upgrade it too. You can thank me later. Circle of Heaven. That it? That it? Fuck you, asshole. Alright, let's go fuck Jill. I mean, talk to Jill, sorry. I will not forget this kindness, my lord. Thank 
a new life. While the going was slow, and not without the occasional run-in with some straggling orc, I saw Etta back safe to the Shadow Coast, where Mid was waiting kindly with the Enterprise. On the voyage home, I like to think the poor lass opened up a little, telling us about her life and the life she wants for her baby, but I suppose it's up to us now to make certain the little one gets it. Gav. Alright, let's go fuck Jill, like I said. Just bend her over the... Bend her over this part right here. <laughs> I'm just messing around. Let's talk to Jill. Come to wish on a star. <laughs> That might not be such a bad idea. This is it, Jill. You know what I have to do. Why well, I have to do it. There's no turning back now. This is where our journey was leading us. Where it will end, for better or worse. I could pray to Metia for you. But you'll be all right, won't you, Clive? You always are. I did promise we'd watch the moon together. I'll be waiting. I just thought of something as that cutscene was happening, like... Bending her over that, and then... It's almost time. <laughs> Better make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Bending her over that, and then the people down below seeing her getting fucked. Man, I have a... I have a dirty mind. Holy fuck! Three... Four, five... Seven new side quests to become available. Holy fuck. Again, we're not doing them now. I'm going to beat the game. And we'll come back and do the side quest. After we beat the main storyline. So. I'm actually going to make a bunch of saves here. Because we unlocked all those side quests. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. The reason I'm doing this is just so I don't fuck up and somehow override all my save files or whatever. This way I can go back to here after I'm done beating the main storyline. Okay, we're good. We have plenty of save files now, I think. What, Joshua has a side quest? Okay, we just go there. Alright. What percentage are we at? 97% So I guess we'll go to Origin And yeah After I beat the main storyline I'll come back and do all these side quests Origin Okay let me read this Let me move my TV closer so I can 
actually read it. Woken from its slumber, beneath the foundation of Twinside, this corrupted construct now looms over the twins. Its form a bruise on the very heavens. Let's travel to Origin. Final Fantasy 1 Origin. Yeah, we're going to be using Bahamut. Dad up there, telling me we're right to leave his legacy with you. <laughs> Tell him he'll be in the front row. There's no way he'd miss this. Well, behave yourself, Mitt. <laughs> we'll see. Charge now, Gav. And what does Taya have to say about that? Come back before she finds out, eh? I shall pray for your safe return. That's kind of you, but you should pray he took his medicine. I didn't spend all night grinding herbs for his lordship to leave them on his nightstand. Again. <laughs> you needn't fear, Lady Dyer. And thank you. See that your brother comes back in one piece. Or, at most, two. Any more and you can heal him yourself. I'll keep that in mind. Well, there's nothing to say that hasn't already been said. But that's never stopped me before, so just you do what needs doing. And don't worry about us. We'll do our best, Uncle. That'll be well. Hmm. If that is all? Not quite. It's time, isn't it? It is. Take care of him. <laughs> and you. You take care of her too, boy. Don't forget, Clive. We all choose our own path. Believe in yours. I do.
I know. I love you too. to kill. Bahamut. Epic. There's something special about that scene though. Jill and Cloud were just friends earlier on in the game and they were kids and then they grew up and they became lovers. So this is Origin. A far cry from heaven. Where it all began. Where it all begins. Our Ark. Your architect. There you are. It was here that we slumbered, here that we waited for centuries, clinging to our decrepit shell for fear that we might have need of it once again. 
But you have come at last. And now we shall be truly complete. Well? There's three of us, and one of him. Let's make it count. I guess this is the final icon battle. Let's see how this goes.
All right, back to commentary. Well, that was a bit lackluster. It was like just a cinematic battle. I was expecting a actual, actually fighting him, but it was pretty cool to see Bahamut, Phoenix, Afrit, all use their powers at the same time. That was kind of cool. Try disaster. Pretty epic. The iconic summons working together to take down a common foe. Never thought I'd see the day. Because a lot of times it's just you summon one. Well, actually, all the times you summon one. Um, and this one, it's like three summons at the same time battling. So, it's kind of epic. They just couldn't do that in the other games. See, I just love how the icons in this game are prominent to the storyline instead of just being things you summon, you know? So, I love that. It, it was pretty epic, but it would have been nice if I could actually control the battle instead of it being cinematic is all I'm saying. surrender this unpleasantness could have been avoided No.
Did I mention you look terrible? <laughs> that means two of us. Oh, I'll be all right. And Dion. I told you, I'll be... Come on. Thank you. Press on. Always. All right, here we are. With the help of Joshua here. It's in a very bad way right now. I won't let you like turn and look over that way. I'm sorry about Dion. Don't be. Please. He did what he had to do. And it's time we did the same. This would be yeah, because of the cough. No, I think we're past that, Clive. <laughs> I suppose we are. It's like a brotherhood right here. Tell two brothers. the first Final Fantasy game where the main character has a brother? I'm pretty sure it is. Oh no wait, Final Fantasy 4, never mind. Gobez and Cecil. Forgot about that. self-preservation you condemned an entire world so that you alone might escape death alone him alone life I think I understand he Oh, 
sacrificed their flesh to become beating hearts of crystal that pumped the land's lifeblood from the depths of the earth unto this very chamber. And thus would they labor still, long after their work was done, had you not set them free. You meant for us to destroy the Mother Crystals. It's what you wanted all along. You have our gratitude, New Thoughts. In this you have served us well. You have both served us well. Welcome home, brother. Wow. I thought uh, it was me, but it wasn't my grasp that grew weaker. It was theirs that grew stronger. Wow. Joshua! No! And now we can become one. Ultima's vessel. I don't care. Just hold on. Listen to me, Clive. Do you remember the murals? People once knew that Ultima was their god. That he created them. And they worshipped him, prayed to him, looked to him for guidance. In vain, for he did not listen, did not acknowledge our will, and so we strayed from his path to forge one of our own. So absorbed was he in his own desires, so driven by his own will alone, that he shunned the one thing that could have made him truly powerful. Faith, the same faith people now place in you. Faith that you will fulfill their dream, Sid's dream, of creating a better world for us. Faith that you will follow in Father's footsteps and save those who need saving most. Faith that you will answer Jill's plea to save yourself. The difference is, Clive, that you chose to listen, and that is what has steeled our bonds. Bonds that helped you stand firm when Ultima's pole was at its strongest. His power may be absolute, but so is ours, and so will yours be. With my light in your heart, not even a god might stop us. Joshua! Do it, you Enough, Clive. My body is too far gone. If the wound does not take me, the curse 
about the crew. Still here with me to the end. Even now, you would deny the inevitable. Right, guys uh it's probably the worst time in the episode but <laughs> here we are thank you guys for watching stay tuned for the next episode this is like the ultimate cliffhanger but i don't want this video to be too too long so yeah i'm gonna cut it here and we'll beat the game in the next episode so thank you guys for watching stay tuned for the next episode Later.